You know, the more I think about um, the, uh, the verse, you know, like stuff that talks about in the days of Noah, I really think we missed the boat. And I don't mean that as a pun, or I do, whatever, we missed the boat. Because I've said this before, but I think it's just overlooked or not heard, but it says it'll be like in the days of Noah. Well, Noah didn't drown in the end of the world in that tribulation period. You know, um, he took those that were, that had, it said Noah was perfect in his generations, meaning his DNA, meaning his DNA was intact. So it also says, I'll never leave you or forsake you, but no one ever uses the ark as a metaphor for the rapture. You know what I mean? So it also says, you know, two will be at a well one will be left, one will be taken. Well, in the end times, you're not going to be at a well or at 7-Eleven getting a Slurpee if you don't have the mark. So that means that something is going to happen before the mark because if it happened after the mark, you would be hiding. You know what I mean? So I just think that with all this uh, anti-rapture uh, rhetoric and nonsense, the more God's showing me that there will be an, a, a rapture. There was in the days of Noah. It says right in the Bible, it will be like in the days of Noah. In the days of Noah, he took those that were still pure in their DNA and were the believers, the true believers, and he took them. So... I'll never leave you or forsake you. There's no real instructions after um, Revelations chapter 4. The church is gone. So he doesn't really tell us like anything else about us because we're not there. Who's left? The people that think we're, we're weirdos right now for, you know, they're on the fence about this stuff. That's who's going to be left and they're going to see. And that's why I think that Operation Bluebeam will be, it's obviously uh, an inversion of the rapture because Satan doesn't have any original ideas of his own. And it will be easier to pull off because, listen, man, churches are having vaccine drives and all kinds of stuff. There's not going to be as many people just like in the days of Noah. So it will be easy. It won't be millions of people and planes falling out of the sky. It will be really fewer numbers and then they'll use you know, Operation Blue Beam, which I don't think will be a hologram. And Operation Blue Beam is a controlled leak, just like Roswell and just like everything else. They want you to know about that stuff. They want you to know that there's going to be an alien thing. So they're, they're priming you for it. So I don't know. I just kind of felt like this was a, a thing that I needed to say and a thing that needs to be shared. There's also the false Jesus being spread around Yeshua and Jesus, and that's completely nonsense too. So that's the great falling away. All the signs are on, all the batters are on deck here, okay, in the World Series, so to speak. So share, you know, God doesn't want you to sit on Facebook and, you know, oh, I don't want to cause trouble or... Um, the 12 disciples caused some stuff, okay, and even Jesus did. They named names, okay? If you think not telling somebody about stuff that you know is what God wants you to do, that's just being lukewarm, okay? Make your yeses be yes and your noes be no. If you're not sharing this stuff and you're hiding this stuff, you're hiding the truth, you're keeping withholding the truth from people, people like you that are watching this and you're afraid to share it because you don't want somebody watching it on your friends list, you know, or your parents, you're not even free, you're not even free to live your life. You know what I mean? So we're supposed to be out there sharing stuff, not, you know, sharing news clips of Alex Jones and stuff. So anyways, I just want to put that out there.